so trust guys my visa has a bra my visa has a bra my visa we shout out to the high commission because it was friday that i went to get that i submitted my application and today is tuesday so that's not a bad turnaround i'm going to book my ticket today um and then i can start i guess winding down and packing up it is official official it's official okay i'm getting sidetracked right i'm gonna go book my ticket Bye. welcome to the Rider high commission in london please note that the visas and passport section is open from 9 30 a.m to 12 30 p.m only Hi, um, I'm calling about um, a transit visa. I'm flying to Zambia via Rwanda. I have a British passport, but I understand I have to get a, tran a transit visa. Yeah, you can get transit visa upon arrival in Rwanda. Oh, okay. All right, so I don't need to do anything in advance. I can just get it at the no, border. No, 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 no. Okay, wonderful. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, so, uh, Bye. Uh, I was really concerned. So my passport arrived on Tuesday. I was extremely, extremely excited. I feel like it's all coming to, slowly coming together now. So originally when I fly to Lusaka, Zambia, I go with, I fly with Emirates, but I left it quite late and it was extremely expensive. So I'm trying Rwand Air. Um, and this will be my first time. I'm, I was a bit uncertain. I tried to ask some of my friends if they've used the airline before, but no one has. Um, so that's already all booked. I did see on their website that you need a transit visa. So I just called um, the, the English, English. And I called the High Commission. I don't need to do anything in advance, which is great. So I can get my visa at the border. However, I, I hope the process is really easy and streamlined because you can also get a visitor's visa on arrival when you arrive to Zambia and the queue mind you sis the queue is intense like I had to hustle my way and go through the residence section instead of the visitors uh, slash tourist entrance because it was wild it was so long and drawn out and i did not take a entire day of annual leave to get my visa sorted out to stand in there which almost felt like a day in itself anywho passport sorted visa sorted we will experience rwanda um kigali together this week's been pretty just work on wednesday we had our team day out and we went to crystal maze it was awesome like, competitiveness is not a characteristic of mine and i didn't think i was going to take it so seriously or get so passionate about winning when they announced that we were the winners i was screaming yeah! i was high-fiving everyone in my team who is that chica like who is she who is she and can we bring her out sometimes because that was really fun guys i stumbled across this video today called exploring the white people site YouTube. <laughs> look at the way she spelled white people. I had to crack it up. <laughs> but her commentary is just making me laugh. A lot of it, myself and those in the comments and the comments comments section all agree. It just all sounds about white. Today is the 1st of July and I'm feeling quite reflective. It's... I have these moments where it dawns on me like, okay, you're leaving full-time employment you will not be getting a salary. Um, you're going to be unemployed because ultimately, to some degree, like this whole, you know, being an entrepreneur, I feel like it's quite glamorized. It is bloody hard work. You are everything. And I almost find it uncomfortable to call myself boss chick or CEO, managing director, all these sorts of names that people give. All these types of labels that people give themselves when actually you are the hardest working employee in your company because nobody's going to care as much as you i have 19 days until i leave london Luton airport and wow i've been there for four and a half yeah just over four and a half years and i i really enjoy my job and i love the people there are a few 
there are things I'm going to miss. Like every day, working in the airport, there is some random stuff that happens. And the industry, people stay in the aviation industry for so long. So reflective, scared, petrified. Oh gosh. Anywho, today there isn't much going on. I'm going to Boots to try on some glasses. There is a scheme at work that allows people to get a £75 voucher off glasses, well probably selected glasses, um, at a selected um, glasses retailer. So I'm going to Boots Opticians to try and pick something out so I can access that last benefit <laughs> before I leave. Probably going to go through the handbook and see what else I can get <laughs> before before I am terminated. My manager called me on Friday. He said he's going through my termination of employment document when is my last day and I was like, termination? <gasps> that is so harsh. Termination, it sounds like I've been fired. Anywho, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I will see you next week. I realized this vlog, this week's vlog was a bit slow, not as exciting as last week, but with YouTube, consistency is key. So I will continue to upload even if no one's watching just so I can get myself into a habit. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye!